Well, they say third time's a charm. Hope they haven't been lying to me. Spin it. Hey DMD family, welcome back to another Discs MD video. Bunky here, and we're back at Scarborough Shorts for another Chasing 900. You would figure I would only have this much trouble with level four. Am I right, Trevor? Hunter? Am I right? All right, if you are a faithful Foundation Disc Golf follower, you will understand that. I'm only on my third level here, and I can't get past it, <laughs> which is a bummer to me because I love this course, and I usually play it really well. Chasing a number is tough, and I understand that, and a lot of people have told me it. We're going to try again. The line to beat here is three under uh, to a, for a 900 rated round. But something that I haven't been doing consistently and faithfully that we should be doing, especially if you are a seasoned player, such as myself, is warming up. So today I made sure that I packed in my bag my warm-up stuff, and I have my ba band, and I have my D-clip, 10% off, link in the description below. So we're going to use these and we're going to warm up a little bit, do some shoulder breakers, right? Just, we need to get our joints and muscles loosened up here, right? Do some rear delt extensions, do some pull downs, do some twirly birds. So I'm going to use my D-clip, put my D-clip. This is a weight. If, no, if you don't know what a D-clip is, go to D-clip. D slash D dash clips dot com forward slash discs MD to get 10% off, but to also find out what the D clip is. These things are fantastic, right? It's a weight. It's an added weight to put on your disc. You can use for warm ups. You can use for muscle training for putting, right? So I use it in this capacity just to warm up. So extremely versatile, versatile tool that I carry with me all the time. I use all the time at home. So you want one go grab one so i'm going to finish warming up here but make sure you warm up your body and get your body ready to play around all right let's get on to hole one all right here we are hole number one uh which is actually after hole number nine i'm playing this after hole number nine so i'm from the future and i can tell you what i'm sitting at right now after nine minus hole one but i won't it'll work itself out as we go <laughs> sorry there was a group here that i wanted to try to a big group that i wanted to try to get ahead of to, uh, so they didn't slow me down because I have a time constraint. But I realized that they wanted to play like speed golf or something. They were playing very fast. I tried to stay ahead of them, but I was rushing too much. And I was like, you know what? I skipped hole one to get in front of them. I'll just come back and play hole one, let them go, and then go play the back nine. So you'll see this before the rest of the front nine. But for me, this is after. Confused yet? Just keep watching. You'll get more confused. <laughs> Hole number one, 300 feet, right out in the open, OB to the left. Gonna throw my Mad Cat here. <sighs> Sit down. Don't skip too much. All right, we'll probably have a circle's edge putt there. Let's go get it. All right, so we're right at Circle's Edge here. They put in little markers for Circle. So we're right just inside Circle's Edge. Elevated basket. This is a scary one because it falls off behind. So if you miss, it's a long comebacker. We're going to give it a quasi bid here. Oh, I've got a headwind now. Okay, take my 30 seconds though. Let's take it, float it up there and see what happens. Nope. Okay. That was a great run. Gave it a bid, gave it the length, the distance that I needed, but still have a very short comebacker. So I'm going to go put that one in. I'll be right back. All right. There we are. There's the par. Moving on to hole two now for you. But for me, I'm going to go play the back nine. I'll see you on hole two. Very confusing. It'll get better. By better, I mean more confusing. Just hold on. All right, hole number two, 219 feet straight ahead of you. Last time I didn't play this one so well. I'm going back to the uh, blue bonnet here, something that's going to fade back to the right and just get it up there. 
walk up to where I want to walk up. All right, a little far right, but we'll have a putt at it. Let's go get it. All right, a little longer of a putt than I'd like. Definitely makeable. Got to throw it though. <laughs> All right, taking the par. Move on to hole number two. <clears throat> Sorry, hole number three. Wow. Just starting and already disoriented. All right, let's go. All right, hole three, which is hole number two for you, but you'll catch on after a while. Skipping that first hole is going to throw it off, but you'll catch on. Hole number three, 166 feet straight ahead, really narrow gap. I'm going to throw my Benny here. Just get it through. Get around. Slide up. Oh, I think that's right under the basket. Let's go. Yeah, man, we like this. So, birdie, one under after two, on to hole four. Let's go. All right, hole number four, 175 feet straight ahead, up the hill. Plays probably closer to 200 or so. Just need to get something out to the left and let it fade back. Give me a chance. Get down. All right, that should be good. Have a putt, but should be good. All right, again, another longer putt than I'd like, but, and really uphill. Just take our time. I feel rushed because of the group behind me. They're faster than I thought they would be, but just gotta take my time, get my wits, make the putt. Ah. All right. That went right beyond the basket. I'm just going to go put it out. Move on. All right. Still one under. On to hole five. All right. Hole number five. 201 feet. The one I aced a couple times ago. Flags right ahead of us to this side of the tee pad. Straight ahead. Throw my blue bonnet again. Just f throw it to the left and fade it to the right here. A little tailwind. Get down. Get down. Oh, the wind took it. And I have a long putt, but it's a putt. All right, exact same putt that I had last time here. Hit left side chains. Nice. That's a good birdie to get. All right, let's move on. All right, hole number six. 285 straight out in front of you. I'm going to throw my Wrangler here. Something that'll keep me out of the woods. My run up line. Oh yeah, that's it. Get up there. Yeah, maybe a 30 footer. We'll see. All right, yeah, what do we got here? A little over 25 feet. A little tailwind. Oh, <laughs> tail and knocked it down. Ugh. All right. Wanted that one. It's all right. Par's good. No bogeys today. No bogeys today. If we keep it bogey free, we'll be fine. On to hole seven. All right. We're going to play the same play here with the Wrangler. That worked well. A little over 300 feet straight ahead. Get down. Ah, 
skip too far. That's all right. Long putt. Here we go. All right. I'm going to say this is about 40, 45 feet. Need to take my time. Not getting those up. I'm not popping that with my fingers enough. Let's go. All right, there we are. Just gonna tap this one in for the donkey birdie. Move on to hole eight. All right, hole number eight. What is this? 201 feet straight ahead. You should see it. I'm throwing my Artemis here. Just get up and around the corner. I'd like to get this one. I think we're two under right now, so it'd be nice to get this one. Get through. Settle down. Yeah, that should be an easy putt for birdie. Let's go. Took the sneaky gap there. <laughs> All right. So I landed on birdie three. Not four, not a birdie five, not six, not seven. So this should be three under. I'm doing that because I haven't played hole one yet. You'll see hole one before all these holes, but I don't know what I've done on hole one yet. So for now, <laughs> I'm three under, but you'll have to look below to see the actual score, see if I birdied hole one or not. We'll come back around to that. All right, last hole for this first half. Three under right now, according to me. <laughs> we'll see what we do a hole one. Anyway, this is a 202 foot shot straight ahead. I'm gonna throw my Benny here. Just go straight at it. Don't need a lot of power here. Just a straight line. Get off. Nope. At least it's not a bogey like last time. Let's go get it. All right. Well, I guess I should have talked before I threw this, right? It could still be a bogey, but I'm just going to smooth the Benny up there. Hopefully get it close. Get down. All right. We'll be fine there. Go up there and put that out and uh, sort of wrap this whole thing up. I'll get to it later. All right, you should be able to see me here, hopefully. Not too hard. And there you have it. So hopefully you can see me now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back and play hole one and see what I get. So to me right now, I'm three under. But look below because the time you see this, I'll have played hole one. And then we'll see what we are. Let this group play ahead of me so I can slow down a little bit and then play the back nine. So come for the back nine. I should be at least three under, maybe hopefully four under if I get the first one. Come back. The line to beat here is three under. So got to play a solid back nine. Front nine was actually pretty good. No bogeys. So let's keep that going to the back nine. So until next time, enjoy the journey. And here's your verse of the day.